Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. I'm working down in the basement today because it's uh, kind of cold outside, you know, it's about 25, windy, it is sunny, but, so I'm down here and that's the time, uh, obviously it's in the 12 hour format, you know, Monday, the date, the whole bit. So who gets today's shout out? Um, one of the videos, one of the guys who's been making videos forever, make, um, I was watching him before I started making videos, Musty1, and probably most of you guys watch him, he, um, he does a lot of cool stuff, um, he's got a whole horde of Volkswagens and Volkswagen stuff, particularly the, um, the vans, or not, the, um, well, the vans, the, um, Double cab, single cab, um, trucks and all. He put together Krusty the Lumber Truck. He puts together a lot of really, really cool um, motorized bicycles. Does a lot of fixed videos on lawnmowers and so forth. So um, I really enjoy watching his stuff. Um, he fixes most of his stuff on a on on a tight budget where I have a tendency to throw um, some money around when I want to fix something like right here right you're looking those those drill bits right I buy them whenever they're 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 on sale he he has a tendency to do things much more frugally right um, than I do so um, yeah go out and watch him he's got a lot of videos probably close to a thousand eight hundred to a thousand video so he's worked on a lot of things over the years so so go watch him I think I think you'll really enjoy his stuff uh, today's video this is an LED light bulb and it was strobing on and off it didn't last very long to be honest with you it started strobing on and off and very easy to take apart the top part is glued on so you just kind of put a knife blade underneath there and it pries right off okay and then um, there's two screws okay. oops and you could see they go there and there so you take those two screws out and when you do that the bottom comes out and very quickly you realize the bottom is just a power supply so um, and in this case, that was the problem. The power supply went bad. So what do you have left? Well, you got this really cool array of light emitting diodes. So, you know, Harvey likes that. There's about 40 of these on here. And um, if you've spent any, any time... Uh, each one of these has about a 0.6 voltage drop, which means to light it up, you have to give it um, somewhere, you know, 0.6, um, around 28 volts or so, to get it to fire up. Because each one you drop 0.6 across, right? So, um, and was helpful what I did was before I discarded the power supply before I called this completely worthless I turned it on and I checked with my meter and sure enough it was putting out about 36 volts so what I did here is I duplicated right each one of these is 12 volts so 12 24 36 and there we have it we have the uh, cool little array and it's going to be interesting to watch me get this to light up. But we're going to try the old one-handed man. What I've also done is I've um, I got my meter here. And when I'm putting 36 volts into this, I want to make sure that I'm only putting like 20 milliamps or so, 30 milliamps worth of... Um, current through it because if you put much more than that you smoke the LEDs and one really doesn't want to do that they were kind enough to even mark this positive and negative 
Um, you see the plus there? I'm quite casting a shadow as I'm doing this, so it makes it hard to see. But you see the plus there? And there's a minus there. And this is the neg this is the negative side. I'd really like to clip it on. I don't know if it's gonna behave. And that's the positive side. Oh here. Let me try to try to do it in um in a way that you guys could see. Okay, got that on, and we touch this here, and we should have bite. And let me show you how, oops, how much current it's burning. I'll actually shorten that out. I kind of killed the meter, I think. Sorry about that, guys. Um, let's see if I can't get it to come back to life on the 10 amp stage. I probably blew out the, um, the fuse in the meter. So you guys get to watch Harvey. You got to watch Harvey screw up. Well, maybe not. Well, actually, yeah, I probably did. I don't know if the thing is sent enough to read. What is it telling you? 0.1, right? Which is 10 milliamps. It's probably, once again, closer to 20, but I think when I just did that short, I blew the fuse. in the meter sorry about that so anyway I showed you the 10 milliamps when I'm on the 10 amp state 10 amp um, part so see you only have you're on the 10 amp so it's 0 0.01 which is 10 milliamps you can see the lights on so I know you guys are all saying very very nice who cares um, basically what you can do with this is these battery holders are really cheap over eBay they're like a buck each so you can buy those for a dollar each each one of them holds six batteries so you're probably saying to yourself well that's a whole load of batteries but for a dollar each, right? Um, and you buy these on sale at Harbor Freight. You got 24 batteries in here. These cost five bucks. So for less than 10 bucks, you can hack one of these lights and light it up. It's only using 20 milliamps worth of power. So it'll be lit for days. <laughs> before you kill well over a day let's put it you could take a camping with you and um, have it stay lit for for quite a while um, right just go back run some wires coming out of that right mount this some kind of box and you have yourself a nice hack this light I think was good for 75 or 100 watts so once again for not too much money you could take a dead LED light and hack yourself a really cool camping light or a really cool light to have around the house should there be a blackout 
Um, obviously I'm staying inside because it's kind of cold out and I was going to rebuild this carburetor but you can see it's got the old cocaine nose job here it's all full of white powder so I have to dig through the hoard and come up with another carburetor I've finished putting it back together again um, it's all timed up I adjusted the valves so quite honestly it's just a matter of smashing it putting a carburetor on it or finding a decent carburetor, smashing it on the bike, and firing it up. Um, initially, I'll probably fire it up on the uh, portable CD box, the 12 volt one, because I kind of like seeing if it works or not. I'll probably check out the uh, pit bike ignition on it, because I like seeing if that works or not. And then uh, we'll run it. You can see a little red death there, a little red death here, a little red death there. I just used, um, I didn't put any on the, um, I call that the compression gasket, the head, the head gasket. Um, because the head gasket came apart really clean and easy, not an issue. Um, these gaskets actually came apart pretty good also, but I just put a light, light coating on it to, in hopes of them sealing better. Um, this cover, there's no oil on the other side of this cover. This gasket came off pretty good, so I just, I just put it back, back on without putting anything on it. The red stuff, the nice thing about that is you could take it apart again without ripping everything up. If you use the uh, brown form of gasket when you take it apart, you tear things up. Anyway, folks, I really want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Make sure you get out there and check out uh, Musty One. He does a really good job. He's a friend of the Horde. He swapped by. He stopped by for a visit um, a couple of years ago now, um, and it was uh, good to meet him. So, anyway, folks, take care now. Remember, feet down, head up. Don't forget to get out there and enjoy all your days. Thanks for watching and commenting and being a subscriber. Bye.